record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we have Kyle Larson with his Auto Club race win. Yeah, I know, I'm very late to this Die Cash Review, I do apologize. I have been caught up in a lot of other Die Cash Reviews that I've been even needing to get done. A bunch of customs I've been trying to do. So, with that, and on top of that, we have like new releases coming in, all that good stuff, right? And it kind of got buried, not gonna lie. Same thing with... The Phoenix win for Chase Briscoe, still haven't, you know, reviewed that yet either. So do forgive, do forgive, I am getting there, I promise. I'm trying to stay relevant on a platform, people, it's hard to do, but I'm trying to do it the best I can, so <laughs> it's a little difficult right now. Especially now, because I cannot, for the life of me, buy every single car I want, because, you know, bills, hours at work are getting a little lower, but you know what, that's okay. Now I've kind of just been buying the ones that I want or that I really like. So, yeah, we kind of had to cut down a little bit, but no big deal. And not only that, that gives me time and money to get some custom die cast made as well. But yeah, as I said, this thing got buried in the die cast review pile for quite some time. It's been out for months now. It's not the metal chassis. I got this, is, I got this like way before uh, it was even Thanksgiving. So yeah, I kind of had... A little bit of a small uh, premature burial for this die cast. But nonetheless, we do have it here today. Just another HendrickCars.com die cast to have a race win in. <laughs> this this makes, you know, just another one. Uh, we've got, even though it's 2022. Uh, you know, 2021, he had a whole bunch of race wins in the Hendrick Cars. Now we got one for 22 as well. I'm pretty sure he had more than one rate or one win this season. Did he have like two? I want to say he had like two or three wins. I do not remember. And I think it took him a while to get this one too. I'm not really, I'm not really sure on that one. But nonetheless, got a brand new diecast here today, and it, it looks really good too because we got a little bit of confetti, not a whole lot, but it's a little bit more. I'd like to have, of course, without the window banners or like the windows, not having any confetti detail. I'm sure that takes out a pretty good chunk of the confetti as well. But nonetheless, we're going to get this. Uh, I almost said this dad boy. Yeah, I was going to say bad boy and diecast out of the box. Came out dad boy. Don't know what that is. Don't want to know really. <laughs> but nonetheless. Let's get this die cast out of the box. Here's the die cast out of the box. And, you know, pretty much as expected. Uh, got just the normal Hendrick Cars paint scheme. Of course, it has changed a little bit for 2022. But the layout is pretty much copy-paste from last year. Again, they had to modify just a few things for the 2022 or Gen 7 die cast. And the car, obviously. The actual, you know, real... Real 1-1 one, one scale, not 164, not 124. Uh, the real, a real deal. We had kind of, they had to fix the paint scheme as well. But nonetheless, still a pretty cool looking paint scheme. I do prefer, I don't know, number in the middle or number like this. I'm not too sure. Probably the number like this because I don't like how the five is like overlapping the blue and the red. I just, I don't know, I'm not a fan. So yeah, I kind of prefer the number in the middle. So I would have to go with the 2021 edition if I had to pick anything overall. So yeah, you know, just kind of my opinion there. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but anyway, <laughs> HendrickCars.com on the hood here, of course. A little bit of confetti. We've got like a light blue or like a cyan color or like a like a baby blue, maybe. I got a lime green. Looks like got some black thrown in there. Uh, is that all the confetti color? Yeah, it's a weird mix of like a light blue, uh, kind of not like a lime green, but like a maybe like a mint green, I would say, and then some black there as well, so... You have a three-tone confetti pattern going on here. Got the hood vents on the roof there. Is that just me, or does this look off? Yeah, something's going on with that that front end. Because if you look at the decaling, so this is the left side. I'm pretty sure this is the more accurate side. And then you got this, and it's like super up and over the hood. I don't know if that's like supposed to be that way, but it looks a little wonky. Not not going to lie, it looks a little odd. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be that way, maybe not. Got the Chevy Bow Tie and Larson there. Got the number five with some more confetti kind of sprinkled onto the left side of the car. Or more like the bottom of the or Yeah, looking this way, it's at the bottom, but it's more on the left side of the roof. Got hiring text right there. Of course, you got a little bit of race wear in the number five. Got Larson on the rear name banner right here. Got HendrickCars.com pretty covered in confetti. Looks uh, not bad. I don't know. I'm kind of... I don't know if I'm liking the confetti colors or if I'm not liking the confetti like colors. It's kind of like, 
I don't know, like in the middle, maybe? It's like, I mean, it's not a bad color combination. The blue is really throwing me off. I think that's what it is. I've seen green before. I've seen like a dark blue before, but a light blue, I'm not really, not really too sure. The blue, the green and uh, black is something we've had before. I don't know, throw that blue in there, though. It's a little bit of an odd tone, I'm not going to lie. The amount of confetti is nice, though. So, on the back, got the spoiler back here. NinjaCars.com, Camaro, got a little bit of a little slit thing going on there. A little little, little mark, just a little baby mark there. Uh, ZL1 Valvoline, got the taillights. Of course, you got the uh, camera and Chevy bow tie. Over here, ooh, what happened over here? We got a little bit of damage. Not really too sure what that's from. Is that a, oh, it's also paint chipped. That's nice. It looks like maybe he got loose and kind of tapped the wall a little bit. Like he kind of... He kind of came around and smacked the back end just slightly. It's all crinkled. It's all like rubbed up. Got some black on there. That might be from the burnout too. Not really too sure, but that like kind of that light gray makes me think it was almost like a, a wall scrape of some sort. Hendricars.com right there. Got some more rubber build up along uh, this rear fender back here. This rear uh, wheel well. Got some more confetti. Uh, got Valvoline there. Something besides Valvoline. Can't tell what it is. Looks like a, a person. Maybe some uh, tribute deal or something like that. KL, of course, for Kyle Larson. Acronis, Salta. Salt, uh, or Excel to, uh Cincinnati Freightliner, Mac Tools and Simons there. And you got that uh, rubber build up there. Got some little details down here. Got the exhaust, some little vent thing over there. And they got the arrow pointing down to the jack. Again, got some more race wear along the entirety of the side of the car here. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Uh, ooh, a little bit of paint chips going on there. Same thing with the Cup Series logo. That's interesting. Uh, is that also a wall scrape? Is that like, yeah, okay, so I think he actually tapped the wall a little bit earlier in the race and it's just still ended up winning, I can't really recall. But NASCAR Cup Series, Goodyear, got the Goodyear tires. I uh, got a little more race wear on the front end, got Sunoco, so you can, uh, you can see the opening of that grill. Looks really nice, looks a little, uh, pretty realistic to say the least, if we can focus, we can actually see it for once. There we go, not bad, not bad, got the confetti on the splitter down here. Now we got these little, I noticed this earlier, we got these little triangle like cover pieces on the side of the splitter now personally that reminds me of a hellcat or like a challenger or a charger like one of the newer chargers and challengers that are like obviously not the electrical ones but the how like 2019 2018 i don't really know how far they go up to but in terms of like having these little corners but it's because in the car community that's made fun of it's like if you get a brand new hellcat or a charger challenger whatever and you have those little these little yellow corners. Those are factory corners, meaning like there's still covers on the corner, but a lot of people keep them on the car. So it's like a ha ha, it's so stock. You haven't even removed your bumper covers yet. And it's something it's something like that. As far as what I can what I can get out of it, that's pretty much how that goes. I don't know, but that's what it really reminds me of. I just kind of you know throw that out there. I got a weird line down this a door. I'm pretty sure it's just like the marking of a panel, but it's interesting how it's actually marked. Nice little fine detail though, I'm not going to lie, got some more rubber build up along the side, more confetti down to the bottom, NinjaCars.com, we've got a little bit of a, uh, I don't know what that's, is that supposed to be on there? Yeah, I think so, part of the, looks like, like a, I don't know if that's like a pile of black confetti, or if that's like a rubber piece uh, sticking there, I don't know, got some confetti on the fuel cap there, got some more on the seat post, yeah, pretty cool little die cast here, not bad at all kind of zoom out a little bit here but yeah that is the hendrick cars paint scheme for what was it auto club or not just the paint scheme but the race win uh yeah auto club i keep wanting to say las vegas because of last year but i mean it's not the same bowman got vegas this year and i've actually got to review that die cast here soon and whenever i can save up enough i'm going to uh be getting the 124 as well if i can i'll get it in the elite if not i'll just get it in arc but I'm really going to try to get it in the Elite, especially because I didn't get the Martinsville win in Elite last year. And I really wanted to, but I could not get it at the time. But nonetheless, I believe that will do it for this Die Cash Review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.